Hi, my name is Maria Abreu. I'm very grateful to OMIDA to have the opportunity to talk to you about my research. Um, since I was uh, in training, I've been taking care of patients who have Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis, who are wonderful people who are affected usually in the prime of their lives with these conditions that cause them to have bleeding and chronic diarrhea and abdominal pain. And one of the many consequences of having this inflammation in their intestine, in addition to having a lot of symptoms in their day-to-day -day life, is that they're also at an increased risk for colon cancer. And so our research really tries to get at that interface of what it is that leads from inflammation to the then development of cancer. Um, you may know, actually, because it's been a, a lot in the lay press, that the intestines are full of bacteria. And so my research really tries to understand how it is that the bacteria might be setting this cascade of inflammation and cancer in motion. And so we've been studying certain receptors of the immune system that uh, recognize bacteria. They're called toll-like receptors. And these receptors in the presence of bacteria turn on inflammation. But what we have found in my lab is not only does it turn on inflammation, but it also activates the stem cells, the, the progenitor cells in the colon, to proliferate and become more of them. And we think that this is part of the process that leads to this being set in motion to lead to cancer. The reason this might have clinical implications is that we've also, as part of a large effort where we ask our, our patients to give biopsies and blood to do research, we have found that patients that have either precancerous conditions of their colon or actually have cancer from their ulcerative colitis, that they have an increase in the, in the expression of some of these bacterial receptors. And so in mice, what we've been able to do is if we block those receptors, we can actually block their ability uh, from getting cancer. And so we think that it's possible that if we use those strategies, we might actually be able to prevent cancer in patients who have ulcerative colitis. So I'm very grateful for your time, and, uh, and I look forward to talking to you soon.